Hey, what's up, guys? So this very, very old, um, I believe this is a Swiss or German Black Forest box, probably from anywhere between the 1870s to about the 1890s. It's all hand-carved wood. Now, it's lost its luster. It's lost its life. Um, as you can see, it uh, pretty much lost all its lacquer. <laughs> and it's a uh, varnish. Um, it's very dull, very lifeless. I don't know what kind of wood this is. I don't know if it's oak, I don't know if it's walnut, mahogany, have no clue whatsoever, but you can see it really, really, really is lacking a lot of depth, a lot of warmth, a lot of, uh, I guess, life, <laughs> and, uh, well, it's quite old, so as you can see here, um, maybe um, I can do something about that. Now, I'm a little scared, I'm not going to lie, whoops, I just lost the key, let me just move that. And uh, so I've been experimenting with a product, and I'll show you what it is. It's called Restore Finish by Howard. And it's uh, actually, it's uh, Mate Howard Feed and Wax. And uh, so here's the situation. Apparently, this is um, some kind of like, I don't know what it is. <laughs> really, I just started using it today. And it's uh, something that restores color to faded wood. And it uh, blends out scratches and blemishes. And it's basically like a wipe on, wipe off. So like the old commercial wax on, wax off type of deal. And it's a liquid and there's pigment inside here. So you shake it up really well. And you're supposed to rub it on with um, an old rag. You can use like a cotton t-shirt, a microfiber cloth, a towel, um, or even a paintbrush perhaps. I don't know. I'm going to try doing this with a paintbrush. Reasoning behind that is because generally... The wood that I worked on before had a, a smooth surface, did not have all these raised, um, you know, carvings in it. So I don't know how else to get the restore finish into all these little nooks and crannies. So I guess I'm going to try it with a paintbrush. Now, could I ruin it? Perhaps. I hope not. I'm very nervous. I have to probably take a Xanax before I do this. Only kidding, guys. So, all right, so let's get started. Let's see what we, we can do with this old box. Okay, so this is actually, the color is mahogany. I placed it in like one of these little like Tupperware type of cups. And I put paper because it's very, very runny, as you can see, and messy. Now, what I'm going to do is, since I'm not sure what's going to happen to something carved, because after you apply this stuff, you're supposed to wipe it off. And I don't know if it's going to be easy for me to get in the nooks and crannies. Um, I'm going to put it in a spot that's like inconspicuous, you know, in case I screw up, it's a spot that's really not going to be noticeable. All right, so let's go. Okay, this is actually, wow. All right, look at that. This is actually quite nice. I'm very, very happy with it so far. Now, I'm afraid of the carved area. The carved area is just making me very, very nervous. Um, I don't know how I'm going to wipe it off once I get into all those nooks and crannies. So, this might pose a challenge. All right, let's turn it around. And let's get started actually on that carved area. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around in a swirling motion and hopefully the little brush, the little pieces of the brush, like the hairs, won't fall into this and uh, get embedded. That's something I don't want to happen. And what I like so far is it's coming out nice and rich and dark. Um, the lighting in my house is not very good right now because it's nighttime. So... I have some like work lights above me, but it's casting like a horrible, horrible like a uh, color hue to this. So it looks much better in person. Now I see some little tiny little hairs coming out of my brush. So let me try to pluck them off. There we go. This stuff is absorbing like you wouldn't believe. It's like almost like it was thirsty. And it was very dry, um, very, very dry. Okay, let's get in those little carved areas. All right, so we're gonna let it penetrate as I go around the rest of the box. 
And here, I'm gonna show you the front of the box. And there we go. Do you see the difference? It's amazing, quite amazing. I see another hair over here. Let me get that off. Okay. Let me try to move my lamp down. There we go. Get a little, you know, better lighting. I'm gonna have to refill my little container in a moment. Why do I feel like Bob Ross? Let's paint some happy clouds. Oh my God. All right, that's really corny. All right, let me get some more of this. Hang in there one second. By now, you are probably hitting the back button. Because I notice, like, nobody has patience anymore to, like, watch things on YouTube for more than, like, three minutes. But, actually, I watch videos like this all the time with people doing, like, you know, painting or restoring things. And um, it actually is therapeutic for me. I don't know. I like to see befores and afters and all sorts of things like that. All right, let's paint them ha um, those happy clouds. Let's make sure that it doesn't get um, in the nooks and crannies of the box because then what could happen is that it might not ever open again. <laughs> this stuff might actually uh, become like a glue. And I see another hair over here. Oh, good God. All right, let me pull them off. These paint brushes are not that good. Um, I got it from Amazon. They're like from China. You know, those cheapy China paint brushes that you get for like three dollars and you get a whole set of them and you're like how the hell did I only pay three dollars for a whole set of paint brushes it's probably made out of bad hair <laughs> I'm only kidding guys no I'm not I'm not racist I just like to make stupid jokes that um, people say oh my god they cringe I see another hair Good God. All right, there we go. Um, see spots I missed in here. All right, so now, see, I got the back. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attempt to wipe this off. And let's see how well my attempt is. Now, I got to put the paintbrush down somewhere else so that it doesn't steam my countertops. Okay. Here we go. Actually, it's wiping off. Oh, thank Jesus. All right. So this is going to be a long video. It's very hard to get into these nooks and crannies. So I might have to take a Q-tip to wipe this stuff off and this is not something that I wanted to have to do really it's quite frustrating this stuff is very very slick it's like a, actually very oily um, and as you're working with it, you feel like you have an oil slick if you're, especially if you're using gloves, it feels very, very oily to the touch and it could actually slip out of your hands. So you have to be very careful. Now I do see a lot of spots that I couldn't wipe off and I don't know if this is going to pose an issue, um, for me. I don't know if that's going to dry funny. Okay, well, the box looks, in my opinion, a hundred times better so far. Okay, look at that. Look how rich the wood looks. Before, it was like dull and lifeless, and uh, it just like lacked a lot of uh, luster, and now it looks so shiny. Actually, let me raise my light, and let me try to, it's so dark in my house. Hold on one second. And you can see it looks, I think it looks a lot better. 
All right, so hang in there one second. You're supposed to leave this on for 30 minutes, and then you're supposed to put the feet in wax. Let's see what happens when we do that. Um, all right, and I'm going to get a Q-tip, actually, and get in those nooks and crannies. Stay tuned. Okay, so 30 minutes is up. Um, I got out as much as I could through the nooks and crannies uh, with some Q-tips. And uh, as you can see, the wood is uh, darkened. I like it much better darker. Um, again, the lighting is really crappy in here. So you really can't see what I see with the naked eye. But the, I think the wood looks prettier. Um, you can see that uh, beautiful grain and design. Now, the... Um, challenge lays in the fact, again, that we have these carvings. And so the second step is feed and wax, which is a wood polish and conditioner. And it's made out of beeswax and orange oil and uh, some other kind of oil. And uh, now, usually you just wipe it on with a rag, leave it on for 20 minutes, and then wipe it off. The issue is, how am I going to get into the carving? So uh, that's uh, pretty challenging. So first, I'm going to start with the back. And so I'm going to squirt a little bit of this product. It says to use liberally. So I don't know what they mean by liberally, but I guess that's enough. Doesn't that look like a, a lungy? <laughs> oh, God, that's so gross. Okay, so I'm rubbing it on. And let me give you a close-up. And you can see it uh, makes the wood nice and shiny. has a very pleasing smell to it. It smells a lot like a uh, pledge or some kind of citrus scent, like maybe orange or lemon. All right, so we got the back penetrated, as you can see here. Let me give you a close-up. As opposed to this, you can see how shiny it is. Now, we're going to try and attempt to get these carvings on the side. Now, um, what I was thinking of doing, again, another cheap Chinese bad hair brush. And imagine if it was bad hair. Oh, God. All right, so we got the booger on here. And let me try to brush it in with a brush and see what happens. Just to get into those nooks and crannies that I'm going to have to get it, um, get it off with a uh, Q-tip, most likely. And I'm not looking forward to that, getting into those nooks and crannies with a Q-tip. That makes my job that much harder. And... Uh, you can see that beautiful tone as appear um, as compared to the top, which is nearly half as shiny as that. There we go. All right. So let me actually do this side. Then we'll get to the top. This is going to be one hell of a long video. Now, um, again, as I said earlier, a lot of you probably hit the back button already. Um, if any of you are still here, thank you. I uh, really appreciate you. Um, you're one of the patient ones. Most people do not stick around for longer than three minutes. Trust me, I check my watch hours in my uh, YouTube channel dashboard. And if I make a video longer than three minutes, people are out of there. And I know I drone on forever and I talk too much, so that's what my mom always said. She said I was like chatty Kathy. Okay, let's get that front done. And then we're going to go to the dreaded top, which I'm not looking forward to. All right, so we got the boogie on there. It really does look like some kind of like pus or something that comes out of a COVID patient's cough. Let's get in there and get in there good, right? I'm painting a happy little cloud <laughs> and a happy little tree. God, Bob Ross probably had no stress in his life. That dude was probably like the most chillax person. He was just like so chill because all he did was paint happy little trees all day. He probably like didn't even uh, ever have any kind of aggravation or stress in his life. My goodness. All right, so now we're going to get into these areas, which I dreaded. And this brush is actually working quite nice for this uh, cheap Chinese paintbrush that took... Like 35 days to arrive all the way from Chickadee, China. There we go. So far, no hairs are falling off into it. That's a really good sign. We don't want those hairs in there. 
This thing is thirsty as hell. Let me tell you, this box is still thirsty. Now, after I um, shut the video off before I did one more coat, actually, um, just to get it a little darker, and this thing is just so damn thirsty. All right, so we got that done. This part of the oops, this part of the uh, steps. Let me try to get in here and show you the shine. Again, it's very, very bad lighting in here. Let me try to attempt to hold it back and show you in a different lighting. And so what I'm going to do is wait 20 minutes, and I dread this part. And we're going to try to, like, wipe this stuff off and see what happens. And then I'll show you the uh, end, the end results. All right, guys, so I'll see you in a few. Okay, the 20 minutes is almost up, and I just came up with an idea, and I hope it works, on how to actually get in these nook, nooks and crannies. Um, so what I did was I wrapped an old beat-up T-shirt that I cut up around a paintbrush. And as you can see here... See how it like bends around and stuff? So I'll be able to get into these grooves and uh, actually get this wax off. All right, I'm gonna show you the finishing touches in a few minutes. So here is the finished product, guys. So the paintbrush idea with the uh, t-shirt wrapped around it actually worked and I was able to get into all the nooks and crannies on the carvings. Um, it's amazing, this uh, Howard Restore and Finish product along with the Howard Feed and Wax, really, really, really sprung new life into this very, very old antique wooden box. I, I just can't believe. Look at the carvings, how rich they look. Um, the color came out phenomenal. It's mahogany, by the way. I told you earlier, but there'll be a link in the description below so you can purchase this product um, to try to like bring new life to your old woods and your antiques. I mean, absolutely stunning. Again, look at that. Look how good that came out. That is just absolutely amazing. I'm really, really thrilled with this product. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going around my house right now just to try to find other things that I can restore because this is outrageous. Look at that. You saw it was a very, very washed out um, colored wood. Um, it lost all its luster, all its lacquer. And uh, it was like really faded from, I guess, the sunlight. And uh, this just gave it so much color and so much richness. So once again, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you stuck around this long, again, I appreciate you. So long.